everyone, I'm Dr. Beth Westy and author of the upcoming book, The Female Fat Solution. And today I'm talking about how to break a plateau. Um, I do have a new program out called um, you know, Healthy Hormone Detox, which you can find on my website, which is just www.drbethwesty.com if you're interested in that. But a lot of women I talk to run into the same problem and I kind of hear the same story just about once every day and that is I'm eating well, I'm exercising, and I'm just not losing the weight. I saw a result maybe for the first you know, little bit I was, I was exercising and eating well, and I lost maybe 10 pounds, but I really wanna get the rest of that 20 to go, and it's not budging. And I've heard from women that have been working on this for you know, a month, three months, a year and a half, five years, five years stuck at a plateau. That is so frustrating. Really, really trying, doing all these different things, trying different programs, trying different you know, weight loss things, and for some reason it is not cutting it. And why is that? It's because you're not working with your body. You're not working with how your body naturally works and taking advantage of the simple little tweaks you can make to your nutrition to really make a big impact. It's not necessarily about eating even cleaner or eating more salads. And yes, eating vegetables and all those things are very important, but if you're doing specific these four specific things, you are gonna bust through any plateau, guaranteed. So the first thing is to increase your protein. Now, I do talk a lot about protein and how to absorb protein. If you have questions on that, please comment below or message me. Um, I've done a ton of videos on protein absorption and I'm gonna do more, so stay tuned for those. Um, but oftentimes, just saying increase your protein isn't specific enough to give you a result. So you should be eating at least you know, your lean body mass in protein every day, as long as you're being active, exercising, all those things. So just as an example, oftentimes I'll talk about getting at least 100 to 125 grams of protein a day for women. Um, I'm 6'2", so I'm very tall. I shoot for at least 160 grams of protein a day. That's going to really help me maintain my lean body mass. And right now I'm really trying to build up my deltoids. So these guys right here, just watch in the next coming videos, they're going to be very buff. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but you really want to up your protein a lot more. So if I'm trying to break a plateau for myself, I'm going to shoot for an extra 40 grams of protein per day. So I would be shooting for then like 200 grams of protein. Now you don't do that all day, every day for a month or whatever. It's just something to shoot for for at least a week and then see your result from there before you drop back down again. But to, drop, to increase your protein a significant amount and at least 40 grams and stick to that for several days in a row to break a plateau is going to be significant. Easiest way to do that, honestly, is just getting more you know, protein in through either food, whole food sources, or through protein shakes and bars as long as they're a clean source. Very, very important that you're not putting more junk and artificial things in your body because that will actually prevent you from like, breaking your plateau and keep you from losing weight. That's for a different video though. We'll talk about artificial crap and how it prevents you from losing weight in a different video. Um, the second thing is to do a zero carb day. So just for one day, some people do a type of a diet where they cut the, out carbs all together or they focus on like burning all their carbs and all these other things. <clears throat> and some of that does work, but long term it's actually very damaging on your entire endocrine system and specifically your thyroid, which means it trashes your metabolism which means you can't break up a plateau because you have no metabolism then because you weren't eating carbs and not teaching your body how to burn carbs properly. Mm, not good. So just doing one day of the week with no carb can be really, really great to help and assist in breaking a plateau. So you're eating carbs, let's say 100 grams of carb, 125 grams of carb, maybe 150 grams of carb a day is a normal amount for you. If you're not sure what you're eating, um, this is a great thing to track. There's a ton of apps that you can track it on. But for one day only, you're going to be cutting out carbs, and that's going to be breads, pastas, fruit is also a carb, rice, potatoes, things like that, obviously sugar and things like that, those are a carb. But just for one day, cutting out these starchy carbs and everything else. I don't count vegetables as a carb because, veg you know, especially leafy green vegetables, the fiber in them is not anything that's high enough to be considered a carb. Um, I do count um, carrots because carrots are pretty high in sugar and peas and things like that. So you just kind of got to be a little careful about what you're doing 
but just to cut out carbs for the day is very, very efficient. Again, if you have questions on this or you want to try this and you want some guidance in going through it, let me know and I can send you a meal plan. <coughs> the other thing in Blaking a Flat Show, the third thing is to do a cell cleanse. And I've done a lot of videos on this, so I'm not going to go into it in, in that much detail. But doing a cell cleanse is extremely beneficial to help reset your body, target those visceral fat cells that are around your abdomen, and force them to release the energy within it. Boom, you're going to break a plateau really, really well. The last thing, and you can incorporate this last one with any and all of these ones above, is to incorporate adaptogens. Adaptogens are herbs, they're Eastern medicine herbs that specifically target stress in the body. So many women I talk to are under extreme amounts of stress and they're like, I want to be healthy, I'm trying to work out. And they're just, the way they're doing things is adding more and more stress to their already extremely stressed body. So the way your, your body's perceiving it is like, oh crap, there's more stuff coming, I can't even handle this, ah! So you're not going to get the desired result. So oftentimes just adding these adaptogens which helps you manage the stress better, is gonna help you break that plateau. It's all about working with the, what's going on in your body and really helping getting you that best, best result. So, if you guys have any questions on any of this, please let me know, but otherwise, these are the top four things to break a plateau. I'm so excited to bring you this information and stay tuned for more exciting information tomorrow.